Dr. Mary Gillis. Mary, thank you very much. You know, tonight we're hearing from a set of twins who say there's a freedom that comes with being able to drive. Remember that? Oh, yeah. And this comes nearly a year after an American Sign Language option was added to the driver's test. News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey has the story. The twins tell me that here at the Indiana School for the Deaf, they take all of their tests in American Sign Language. So they say being able to operate in their normal routine when they go to the BMV is a benefit. They say there's equity in that because they didn't have to adjust their normal routine to take something as common as a driver's test. These twin drivers are Olivia and Sophia Washer. And let's be clear, Olivia in the driver's seat is the oldest, but they are both taking off on a new journey. In my dream, I want to go to Colorado, but I know in reality that's not going to happen right away. Taking a break from classes at Indiana School for the Deaf through an interpreter, they share their journey to becoming licensed drivers and their hopes for the road. I wanted to travel, but we've got school, so I can't <laughs> take off just yet. More than one year ago, Jennifer Alka with Easter Seals Crossroads spearheaded research that ultimately moved the Bureau of Motor Vehicles to add American Sign Language as an option. The videos were readily available for each question in American Sign Language. Sign language is the washer's native language, and like most other people who are deaf, signing and written English are not the same. I'll read the English question, and I'll translate it in my head into American Sign Language and think, how would I sign this? Being deaf, she says, actually makes for a better driver. Alka says not being able to hear heightens other senses. And I think we're more alert than the average person because we rely on our vision and our eyesight so much. The washers say before now, taking the test in English was a hassle, but more of their peers now feel a little bit more comfortable trying. We both have encouraged our friends and other students here at the Indiana School for the Deaf to go take the test. Reporting in Indianapolis, Katira Winfrey, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook. Good story, Katira. Thank you very much. We wish them.